So here we are in the solo division, and this all is recorded on Ash Wednesday, actually Wednesday the 17th of February. And uh, as we mentioned before, virtually all the pipe work is in, and I think everything now is in here in the solo. Uh, we mentioned last week about how the swell shades work, and they're freed up now so you can see how they open and close. Uh, as you'll remember, they're basically like big wooden Venetian blinds in terms of how they affect the sound. So all the pipes in here, when, they're, when the swell shades are closed, the sound, of course, is much softer outside uh, in the nave. And then when it's open, the sound gets out directly and is much louder. And you can do that gradually so the sound op uh, gets louder and softer in a gradual, not a sudden way. So all the pipes are in here, and you can see the great variety of shapes and sizes and diameters of pipes from the very thin uh, dulcet here, which are about as thin as organ pipes are ever going to get for their heights here. These are, uh, as we mentioned, these are sort of anorexic pipes that have been on a severe diet for a long time, but they make a very beautiful and special sound. And, uh, uh, Ernest Skinner really uh, liked the dulcet and included that on his instruments quite a lot. Um, orchestral flute here of metal, um, clarinet on this um, the, uh, toe board nearest uh, where I'm standing. These are uh, clarinet pipes. And over on the other side, this is called, you can see the fascinating array of um, pipe designs here. This is really nice. These are uh, flugelhorn pipes, capped on the top, and then here next to it are the French horn pipes. And this was a sound that uh, Ernest Skinner invented and was very proud of. There's a famous picture of, of Mr. Skinner sitting in a chair, and he has a real French horn under one arm, and he has one of his French horn pipes under the other arm, and it's, uh, it's a uh, wonderful picture. So you can see the French horn pipes are quite uh, large in diameter for their size, and they have these interesting sort of curved uh, caps, which is a big part of uh, what gives them their uniquely uh, characteristic sound. And then back behind it is the eight-foot tuba. It's one of the, probably the commanding voice in this organ, and maybe we'll hear a few notes of that uh, before we finish up today. So. Flugelhorn, French horn, tuba. Bottom of the tuba, and then the 16 foot octave of the reed, as we talked about back here, that's made of uh, wood. So that's a little tour of the solo division here, and now we'll move next door to the swell.